Hey guys, today we've got more tips on how to build a basement curbless shower. So if you've got a basement bathroom and you wanna put a curbless shower in, we're gonna show you how to do that over the next several videos. And if you missed our last video tutorial, you can watch it right here. That'll show you how you build up the first phase of the curbless shower pan using high strength concrete. So that's a phenomenal video. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna show you tips on how to add the new heat cables to the bathroom floor to heat the basement bathroom. So I don't know where you are, but here in Pittsburgh, it gets cold in the winter. So, so if you have a basement bathroom, you typically wanna have the floor heated so it's comfortable, especially if it's the only source of heat. So we've got tips on how to add the loose new heat cables and also self-level this floor because this is really the next step after we did the initial phase of building the curbless shower pan. So let's dive into several tips right now. The first thing you need to do is drill holes for the cable guides. This new heat system comes with cable guides and you have to use a hammer drill and a masonry bit. Now hammer drills are very affordable. You can pick one up at your local hardware store for like 50 some bucks and the masonry bit is gonna be only a few dollars as well. You wanna position your cable guides one to six inches away from the walls and any furniture in the bathroom, for example, a vanity. The cable guides should also be six inches away from the toilet flange so that the new heat doesn't melt the wax ring. The next step is to prime the concrete for the floor leveler, and we recommend that you use the primer that is of the same name brand as the floor leveler. We're gonna be doing this priming before we add the new heat cables. After that, we fished our new heat cable wires and the floor sensor up to the electrical box that's in the wall. Then we added our new heat wire every three studs, again, keeping it six inches away from the toilet flange. We added the floor sensor probe and had it evenly spaced between the wires and not near a heating source, and that's super important to remember. Next, you wanna add blocking at the pan and at the doorway, then clean the floor with a shop vac or a vacuum. Apply latex sealant to both the blocking in the shower pan and at the doorway to prevent the self-leveler from oozing out of the bathroom. In addition, you wanna install foam along the perimeter of the room to ensure that you have a gap in the expansion and contraction joint between the floor leveler and the walls. Before you add the floor leveler, it's critical to test the wires per the new heat directions. Make sure you follow those directions to a T so that you can maintain your warranty. Then what we did is poured our floor leveler, which was Ardex liquid, backer board. You want to mix the floor leveler per the directions. That's super important if you want the floor leveler to perform the way that it's supposed to perform. This liquid backer board by Ardex is phenomenal, so if you can find it in your area, definitely use it. The next step in this basement curbless shower setup is to finish off the shower pan, and in our next video, we'll give you tips on how to do that. If you are doing a complete bathroom remodel yourself, and you wanna make that process a lot easier because you've never done it before, or you just want tips that will help you do it faster and better, get our free guide right here. You can click right here, it's awesome. We promise you that you'll like it and it'll definitely help you out with your own project. We'll see you in the next video. If you got any questions, let us know down below. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Take care.